Hello everybody, Army of Otters here, and today we're going to be doing a legendary speed run of the mission Crow's Nest. This is the second mission in Halo 3, and it's also one of the tougher missions in the game, but it's probably more of a mid-tier. I don't think it's all that bad. Uh, for the most part, a lot of the mission you actually have control over, um, so there's not much, like, luck base, I guess. Uh, besides one section uh, with the Brute Chieftain, but we'll talk more about that later. Good. So the beginning part here, you just want to go as quickly as possible. You saw me kill a marine back there just so he doesn't get in my way. I'm kind of mean when, or heartless when it comes to marines, but hey, what you going to do? You come out here, kill these grunts, drop or jump over that crate there so the warhog blowing up doesn't hurt you. And you can kind of charge these guys a lot uh, quicker. Um, I've cleared these enemies a lot faster before, but again, just kind of take your time. No point in getting yourself killed. Um, but it is the beginning of the mission, so if you die here, not a big deal. You have one Brute, and that is it, so Plasma Noob combo him. Then finish off the Stragglers. I didn't even kill that last Grunt. Um, a lot of times, if there's a Grunt, I just don't even care. Um, so come here. You can throw a grenade down here, but for the most part, these enemies are pretty easy to kill. Um, and then I usually pick up a Carbine here, uh, just because I'm going to have a lot of uh, ammo uh, for the Carbine. As you come out this door, you can shoot this fusion coil. Um, I didn't. Uh, sometimes you can get a triple kill there. Sometimes you won't get any kills. Um, it's kind of random. Uh, come down the left side here and kill all of these grunts. And then you're going to come over here and hide in between these like two crates. And sometimes a grunt will look at you, so you can go over there, so you can give him a nice sh uh, shot in the face. Um, he will shoot you, by the way. So you do you do want to kill him. So as these guys uh, come down, you can throw a plasma grenade. I actually didn't kill that brute. I should have focused on the brute. That was a mistake. So this is kind of a uh, kind of screwed it up here. Couldn't kill that jackal. Wasted a grenade. Had trouble killing that grunt. Just everything that could go wrong there went wrong. Normally you want to throw that grenade and kill that brute and the grunts, and then target the jackals as they fall out last. Anyways, here I try to hit that brute. I kind of failed. Let's kind of take out the smaller guys as you get closer to the brutes so you can auto lock with your plasma pistol. And actually, I do believe my marines actually killed the brute, which is always nice. Sometimes they can actually do stuff here, especially the marines on the turrets. I almost got blown up there by that fusion coil. Uh, friendly fire is actually a serious issue here because those marines will uh, throw a lot of grenades. I should have probably died here. I got really lucky on multiple occasions. Uh, I plasma noob comboed that brute. I would be lying if I said I was targeting him. That was kind of lucky, but, you know, take some, you, uh, win some, you lose some. So anyways, keep making your way. Um, there's three waves of enemies you have to clear before you can head back. Um, so here I'm looking for any kind of like sticky grenade, stick grenade, plasma grenade, or frag grenades. As this phantom comes in, you can hide behind these crates. Also for the second wave, this is the preferred strategy, but I kind of screwed up. So this second, uh, this first brute will take a while to fall down. I recommend plasmaing him and then hitting him with a plasma grenade. So plasma pistol, plasma grenade, just to make him easier to hit. Now you're going to have uh, three more grunts drop down, uh, kill them, and then kill any stragglers, and you're done with this part. Just watch out for the phantom as it leaves. I was looking for a jackal, but then I saw the dead body, and I figured the marines killed it. So here, this is very important. Pick up one of these deployable covers, and move on to the next section. <clears throat> so that hangar is probably the toughest part of the entire mission, besides maybe the... Uh, the brutes with the jetpack room but we'll get to that later i'll actually die at that moment but the hangar um the nice thing about the hangars is the beginning of the mission so if you just want to restart the whole mission you are able to do that also it's very generous with checkpoints during that so not too big of a deal if you die so now we have to make all our way back uh all the way to the command center but we're gonna have to fight some drones um and the reason we pick up this deployable cover is we're going to attempt to put the deployable cover in a position so we can shoot out of it without being shot at. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. Um, but I actually fail. You can throw that grenade. Sometimes you can even get an overkill. Usually throw it to the right, but the turret there kind of like pushed it, which made me vulnerable. So I ripped off the turret and I was like, you know what? I can do this. So you can stick your turret through the deployable cover and just shoot them as they come out of this pipe. Um, obviously, the only difference is you have limited ammo here, unlike before where you have unlimited ammo. Um, so you see that kind of hole in the pipe? That's where they're going to come out of. So the more you kill, the faster they come out. 
So, go ahead. As soon as I ran out of ammo, I was like, oh shoot. And I reloaded my BR and I was like, I'll finish the stragglers then with the BR. Um, once you, the stragglers usually aren't much of an issue. It's that huge swarm that is going to kill you because they'll take down your shield super quick. This door is going to open. Sometimes those marines get in your way. If they do, just shoot them. Um, as you come out of here, just ignore Miranda because uh, she's going to ask you to take a look at the bomb. Just say, nah, I don't need to look at it. Come over here, walk down here, and this is the moment of fate. Uh, there's a 50-50 chance, from what I understand, that this brute's going to drop an invincibility or flare. Although, for me, I, bel I swear to God, it is a 9 in 10 chance it'll drop an invincibility. Out of every time I've run, run this mission, which has been like 10 times now, he's only dropped a flare once for me. And if he drops a flare, you're pretty much dead. Um, if you survive, you're the luckiest person in the world. So the point there is kill him, uh, plasma noob combo him, kill him as quickly as possible, pick up his invincibility, spam the whatever button it is for you, X, and activate the invincibility. That way the brutes can't kill you. Very, very solid strategy. Again, unless he drops a flare. Usually those guys won't bug you, but there he was giving me some trouble. So here we're going to do the gravity hammer launch. Uh, some people have issues with this launch, so we're going to go into kind of some details with it. Um, so you're going to see me, I actually thought I kind of screwed it up, but I got lucky and actually survived it. So sometimes it's kind of a luck based thing, but there's some skill to it, as you'll see here. So you want to open that door always in order to hit a loading zone. I didn't mean to shoot and move it. So my strategy for this is to aim for kind of the right side of this uh, metal girder, whatever it is. and at the kind of halfway, when your gravity hammer is looking at halfway between the grater and the walls when you want to swing. Um, so I kind of got stuck in here. I'm pretty sure you can press the button though from the uh, other side if you if that happened to you too. So anyways, kind of let that right side halfway between the grater and the um, thing. As you can see there, I didn't have enough momentum running into it, which is why I failed there. So here, that's a better one. A lot more momentum hitting halfway between the grater and the wall. I slow it down. As you can kind of see if that helps you. Again, I aim my RT, my right trigger, swinging the hammer halfway between the grater and the wall. And it's pretty consistent after that, but that's going to be your biggest thing. If you go too fast, you're going to probably splatter yourself. Here, this is a pretty good launch as well. So that's just something that takes practice and a bit of luck. But I hope that helps you if you've been struggling with it. Um, the reason we definitely want to do that is you skip by far, probably one of the hardest moments in the entire campaign, is you have an entire section just filled with brutes. So we skip that entire section. Slap this button over here and take the elevator ride up. So this next part is I kind of made some mistakes. I almost restart. I was really frustrated because this was a really, really, really good run. I hadn't died at this point. And I was like, shoot, dude, this is one of my best playthroughs ever. And then I kind of screw it up here. Anyways, jump on top of this Falcon. I don't know if it's a PC thing, but on older runs, the Falcon stays a lot longer than it does on PC. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it has something to do with the uh, port or what. But anyways, take out these brutes beneath you. And as soon as you kill two of them, um, the brutes are going to spawn behind you, a ton of them. And what I believed happened here is um, you're going to see me get blown up. I'm pretty sure I got hit by a brute shot, but I'm still not entirely sure how I died. I was pretty upset. And so I'm going to try it again, and I'm going to die again because I'm an idiot. Uh, this is completely my doing. And after I died the second time, I was really tempted to quit and redo the whole thing. But I was like, you know what? I'm making pretty good time, um, so we'll just keep it going. Then I'm going to throw that grenade. And for whatever reason, that brute gave me a trip mine. And then I was like, I don't know why I threw that. I was trying to throw it down, and I was like, that's going to kill me. I don't know what to do. And then the brute blew it up, and yep. I almost restarted, but I was like, you know what? One more time, and hopefully we can get it. So again, stand up here, shoot the brutes from above. I just said, screw it, I'm going to use my grenade to kill these brutes faster. Worked out really well. And then just hammer these brutes as they come up or try to get up to you. And it actually went pretty well this time. So take that uh, invisibility cloak. That's very important. Jump back over here, and you're going to have brutes now coming out to your left. Um... I'm going to kill the, the brutes on the left won't shoot you yet. So I focus my fire. Well, now they will because they came out. But I focus my fire on any brutes remaining in that like main area. 
but you're pretty safe up here. Also, you have more BR ammo beneath you in this in that little room if you need more. So again, I could have had a really, really good run here, but unfortunately, I screwed up twice. So, you know, that happens. But either way, this is going to be really good timing for this mission. The par time for this mission, by the way, is 20 minutes. And we're going to beat it in about uh, 13, 12 minutes. So if you can get below 15 minutes, that's incredible. If you can get below 20 minutes, that's great. So, again, you're aiming for par time. I believe, though, this is an easier mission. Don't worry about these drones. You can grenade them if you want, but they, I've, I don't think they will kill you actually because they're targeting the marines but if you can get below 15 minutes that's really good because it can give you more leeway in other missions so if i were you i'd recommend trying to get around 15 minutes on this mission but if you don't that's okay this mission is kind of hard so don't worry about it if you don't uh, we can make up time especially later on the mission floodgate come out here headshot that grunt i actually really struggle with these jackals here um and my biggest warning for the entire campaign is do not underestimate plasma turrets. Holy crap. I cannot tell you how many times I screw up because I'm like, oh, I have half health. I can, I can go around the plasma turret, but plasma turrets will kill you so quickly. So be safe around them. Again, so here I get to that truck. That's my marker. As soon as I get past that truck kind of on my right, I activate my invisibility and I just run past all of these guys. There's two sniper jackals in here. You just don't really want to deal with it. In this room, this is kind of RNG, but I found this to be very consistent. Uh, so what do you do is you sledgehammer this brute, throw that um, regenerator pretty far. Otherwise, the, it could get blown up by a, a grunt or a brute. Run backwards and then just kind of hope those grunts don't kill you. In here, nothing will shoot you besides two jackals on your right. But if you're fast, they shouldn't cause you any trouble. They actually took down my shields there, which scared me. Um, but I've never died to them. Um, you could kill them if you want to. Um, but it's up to you. If you're not feeling safe about it, you can kill the two jackals. So down here is going to be the probably the last... Uh, the last riskiest part of the mission are these grunts. They will actually, as soon as you walk out, they will kill you. Uh, I just let the drones go by. There's a little technique you can do with the drones to make it go faster, but it doesn't actually save that much time, and with all the grunts and stuff, it's fairly dangerous. To just keep moving, I tried to do a gravity hammer jump there, but I hit the wall, so it didn't really save me any time. That one helped me a bit. And the rest of this mission is a cakewalk, as you just have to go to the elevator before the bomb explodes. Um, I didn't beat my previous best on this mission, but I felt like this was a good enough run to showcase. It also showed some of my mistakes um, and how to kind of improvise, especially with the turret and the drones, if you don't hit that. Take out those two jackals. As far as I'm concerned, they're the only ones that'll shoot at you. You can try and get some more kills. Just run in here and hit that button. Uh, you have a lot of dead time here because the Cortana says something. The thing kind of blows up. And it kind of sucks that they just don't end the mission sooner and make that more of a cutscene. But, you know, what you're going to do. Anyways, sub 20 minute run on this mission is really good. So I'll see you guys next time on the mission Savo Highway.